Thank you. Yes. Good morning. Good to have you back. So, WHO Thanks. came up with this uh, report saying that hydroxychloroquine has been suspended as trials for now. How do you respond to this? What's, what are your thoughts on this? Well, uh, I do not know the data that they are looking at, uh, whether it is from the Caucasian population or from the African population. I know that uh, the data or the clinical trial treatment uh, is about to start. Actually, maybe it has started just a few days ago in Lagos. Um, so when you talk, when you do clinical trial treatment, there are many factors that can affect the clinical outcomes. Uh, the way drug is handled, even from children of the same mother, may be different. Hmm. Not to talk of populations. Uh, so if the data they are looking at and the reason for suspending the trials is because it, or is from a Caucasian population, then it may be justified. But I don't think that we have data from the African population yet uh, because our genetic makeup is different. Yesterday we had over 8,000 cases of um, COVID in um, Nigeria. Would you say that this drug confirm if it's been used and it's, uh, we wish it's working for us in the number of um, you know, cures that we've had? Well, you see, uh, there are three stages of uh, COVID-19 disease. Uh, because it's a new virus, as we speak, things are evolving. Things are evolving, meaning new information is coming out almost every day. Now we know that there are three stages of the disease, the early stage, the mild stage, and the severe stage. Very, very likely, chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine will work at the initial stage and to the mild, you know, also partly mild stage. So it depends also on the severity of the disease when it was given to the group of patients. If it is severe case, when it becomes severe, the body is overwhelmed by what is called the pro-inflammatory proteins. Uh, these are proteins that, are, that will show up when something drastic is happening to a human being. At that point, chloroquine may not work. Again, I don't have data to prove that, but there is data to prove that chloroquine worked for many patients that have COVID-19. Even though the, who have said, WHO have said they're not um, using, they've suspended the use, Nigeria, we will continue our own clinical trials. Is that in effect what you're saying? Yes, that is, that is my understanding right now. Yes, I was at the meeting last week. Uh, we were at a meeting last week, rather, where the ministry invited uh, about that number, that figure, I couldn't figure it out when we were at the Zoom meeting, then I, I couldn't figure out the number, but it's about that number. Right. Uh, they invited them to come and present what they think could help with COVID. And it was a great, great meeting. Uh, and I will not be surprised if we get something promising mm. uh, among the 19. That doesn't mean that all the 19, but look, uh, this is a this is a, a research uh, dream, or I will call it research dream, and I believe that we're going to achieve something out of it. So it is 19 herbal practitioners. Nigerians are excited that you're talking to our people. We're group. We're happy about that. But when do we see a possible drug that can prevent or um, cure cure this um, COVID-19 virus? Actually, uh, the clinical trial treatment that is going on now. Uh, and it has been turned to a network of trials, you know, a solidarity trial, it is called UHO, uh, where other uh, states, uh, Ogun State, Kano, Kaduna, you know, uh, will also be funneling their data to a center, tri a clinical trial center. I don't know which one they're going to use uh, as clinical trial center, but in about three to four months, we may be talking 
completely different or using completely different language. Okay. If, for example, chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine happens to have worked, then we know that we can use chloroquine. But until then, we don't know.